another fitting room reviews for you and that is when I go into a store and try on different clothing items and we can all weigh in on what we think about it. So I decided to check out the Kardashian collection and they sell that at Sears so I went over there and I tried on a bunch of things from the collection and I want to know what you guys think of it and I'll tell you what I think of it too. So the first thing I tried on is this kind of tealish blue dress and it looked really cute on the hanger. They also had it in white, but I thought maybe I could wear it to a wedding or something that I have coming up. And I really, really liked it, except as you can see, it was very big on the top there. And it kind of crosses there, and one strap is thicker, the other is a little bit thinner. And I love the gold, like, hardware detailing that's on the strap. I thought it made it look so cute and just fun, and I also liked that it was kind of a lower cut v-neck. But yeah, it was very big on me on top. This dress was $59 in a size small, and actually everything I tried on was a size small, and everything was like 30 to 40% off. So if you ever go into Sears and you want to check out their collection but it's not on sale, I wouldn't recommend getting it because it always drops in price. They have major sales on that collection. So definitely wait until it goes on sale. So the next dress I tried on, I really, really liked it. didn't seem to fit me quite right. There's, as you can see, there's a little knot where the uh, material gathers. And I thought that was really cute, but it didn't really hit me in the right spot. So I kept kind of pulling it up and pulling it down and it just wasn't really at the right spot. But I thought it was a really cute dress and on me it was kind of like a longer dress which I liked and it was more fitted. It has a cap sleeve on it with like some mint colored trimming and I thought that was really pretty. Just like a casual dress you can wear out and just like to go to dinner or anywhere and I thought that I would get a lot of use out of it and I recommend it to somebody maybe taller than me since I'm short. I think that's why it didn't fit me correctly. So this next dress was actually probably my favorite thing that I tried on and this was $79 but it was on a 40% off discount. So it's a really pretty bandage dress and I love the colors on it. It's gray with some mint, like mint trim again. I think that was kind of their theme right now for spring and I just really liked it. I thought it fit me really nicely. It was more fitted because it was a bandage dress and it was didn't feel too tight either though. I didn't feel like I was like popping out of it or anything. So this next dress was not flattering on me at all. It was actually the dress that Khloe Kardashian was wearing in the ad for this spring line that came out. So I wanted to try it on even though I knew it was really wasn't going to fit me and if you are taller it will probably look really nice on you. Uh, so but on me it was way too long. It just was definitely not the right proportions but I thought it was a pretty dress. It was mint of course and then it had some black detailing like near like the bust area and then just some an interesting design using the black trim. Okay, so the next dress, there was a big kind of like billboard ad above the whole collection in Sears, and Kim was wearing this dress, and it looked pretty nice on her, so I decided I would try it on too, and it really didn't fit me. I mean, I have like a small chest, so I think it's for somebody a little bit more filled out because... I don't know, it just really didn't fit me, like you could see my whole bra through the mesh part and I'm like, this really doesn't look good, so I really didn't like, I really actually did like the dress, but I didn't know how I would ever wear that because I don't have enough cleavage to like fill out that mesh part. So this next thing, I'm kind of wearing them together, they're leopard pants and a shirt. The top was $39 and the pants I didn't catch the price of, sorry, but um, I really didn't love either of them. The pants, oh my gosh, they really looked like pajama pants to me and I actually really like that kind of style of pants where they're more kind of, they kind of taper at the bottom and they're a little bit bigger and I actually have a pair of leopard pants from Forever 21 that look pretty similar but I think it was the color that made it look too pajama-like. It was that kind of light pinky color. I also wanted to try on that shirt so I tried on that shirt and that was $39 and I thought it was kind of cute like I was actually googling to see if I could find a picture of one of the Kardashians in that shirt and I didn't but I feel like they could style it really cute and maybe with like a leather skirt or something really cool. I didn't love it so I didn't want to get it. So the next dress is one that I was really dying to try because it is the one that Kourtney Kardashian wore in the ad and she looked so good in it. So I wanted to try it on. It was $79. It's really long and it buttons down and then it has a really cute slit in the front so you can have a little leg peekaboo action and I thought it was really, uh, like, really, really cute and I was really going back and forth for a while on it. Oh, and it comes with a little black slip underneath it, so because it is sheer. And it, I thought it fit really cute, and you can tie it. There's a little like tie that goes with it, but 
I really liked it. I took a picture of me in it and I showed my friend and she was like, that looks like pajamas. <laughs> so I'm like, ugh, I don't know if I want to spend the money on this if it looks like pajamas to you, but I thought it was a really cute dress and I think part of the problem with me is that I'm just not tall enough to pull off some of these looks, although Kourtney Kardashian is only five feet tall, so, and she made it look really good, but I don't know. I, I think it's, I actually still think it's cute, and you could even use your own belt on it just to kind of maybe add some color to it or just like a thicker black belt or something, so you could really do different things with it. I think it's a fun dress. I bet a lot of people would like it. And the last thing I tried on, it wasn't anything that was in their new collection, but it was on a major clearance. It was only $30, and it was like a fake leathery looking jacket and it had gold studs on the shoulders and I thought that was such a good deal for this and I just wanted to remind you guys if you want something like from their collection you can also go to the clearance part of the store or of the collection and get something for really really cheap because $30 for that when the original price was like over a hundred dollars I'm pretty sure that is a really good deal so I thought that was worth mentioning that I tried that on even though it wasn't part of their new collection so um so that was it i and really really enjoyed checking out their stuff they're going to have i think they may have already started putting some more even more clothes in their store and part of their collection so i think that they make some really cute things it's not the best quality like sometimes when you go to try it on there's like little holes or rips and stuff i've seen that before in their collection but they do have some cute things and if you get them on sale and they're usually on sale then it's a really good deal so i recommend going to sears and kind of trying stuff on and seeing what you like. Let me know down below if there was a piece that you liked from this collection and if there were any other stores you wanted me to check out for more fitting room reviews and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!